Yo, crazy is me, crazy dogs. Today they just released a video relating to shields. They're going to be adding shields to multiverses tomorrow. Not officially into the game quite yet, but they are releasing the experimental mode tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Oh, so the maintenance will be at 9 a.m. and uh, you know, usually it's an hour or so. So I assume around 10 a.m. there will be a, a queue to play this. But there's a whole 13 minute video on this and we're gonna watch every second of it normal speed they're calling it the testing grounds number one which i really like that's probably the no next biggest update they made ow my fucking knee is a staple mechanic for fighting games and we believe we can introduce this mechanic to multiverses in a healthy way that enhances i hope so while also allowing more expression for our players today i will be showing you the strengths weaknesses and how to use shields this is going to be a mechanic added to the testing grounds queue, so please give okay. us all of your feedback. Uh, that's Let's the plan. Begin. That's the plan. What is shielding? I'll give you your feedback right now. Shielding is the ability to actively defend yourself by blocking attacks from your opponents. This allows for moves that are rather strong to be defended against. That is, but the player that is satisfying. Also the risk of all right. Hit out of that's why they've been adding grabs to moves. Later. With this in mind, while it is a tool that will allow for interesting interactions during combat, it also makes getting hit by certain attacks feel more reasonable, and it also makes hitting certain attacks feel more rewarding. Even with the presence of shielding, it is up to you to time your blocks as you would time your dodges, otherwise you will still get hit by your opponent, which means moves that are good still remain good. How Being long does a shield, shield last? Has its uses and risks, but we ultimately want to allow players of all levels to defend themselves against offense, as both defense and offense go hand <laughs> in hand to balance. Dude, I just saw the out. meter; it went down so much. How to use shields? Shielding is done by pressing the dodge button. If you tap this button, your character will quickly guard itself and then drop their shield. If you notice something, you lose a little meter by doing this. But so for you activating it, refunded this meter because you aren't mm. actively defending yourself for a long time. If you hold the dodge button, your character will begin to block as long as you hold it until their meter runs out. If you run out of meter, your character okay. will enter a burned out state, not allowing them to shield anymore, as well as making your dodges worse. The downside, if you normally lost all of your meter. Losing meter while shielding makes it so there is a risk to using this option and not allowing players to sit and shield for prolonged periods of time. Initial thought it lasts way too long. Is done by holding the dodge button and pressing forward or backward in the direction you'd like to roll to. This will allow you to block and avoid incoming attacks at the same time at the cost of meter. You can also roll behind certain attacks so after it, blocking. Is it a holding depending neutral on how dodge? Much stun they have on your shield while being hit. You also are able to boost jump out of shield by pressing jump out of a shield roll, allowing you to gain momentum if you want to approach or retreat out of shield uh, far away and quickly at the cost. But that of counts. Meter. So you hold the shield, Pairing move left or right, and then jump. With shield like by dodge pressing jump. the dodge button and down on your controller of choice. You can also use this to dodge moves in place as well. You can also go you can Where, how do you possible dodge? with shield by pressing the dodge button and down on your controller of choice. You can also use this to dodge moves in place as well. Dodge down. You can also go under platforms while shielding on them by pressing the dodge button and down. If you want to parry on a platform, it would be the same input, but you would have to press dodge and down almost at the exact same time very quickly. Now I'm going Weird. to talk about how I feel like par used parries are gonna be useless offensive manner. Currently Projectiles are powerful because they force players to jump or pick defensive options that allow the user to punish them while trying to avoid these very active moves. Because that is very true. Shield, there's nothing you, you can do about them. Active way to defend against these things, which pretty much give favor to those with projectiles in these scenarios. Shielding will allow projectiles to still remain useful, but not oppressive or unfun to fight against. Blocking projectiles will protect you while allowing you to get closer to your opponent with proper timing. That but depending on their class, seems satisfying. Blocking range meter. attacks. Light projectiles That's do why I'm very liking minimal it. damage to your stamina meter when you are shielding them. Medium projectiles do moderate damage, and heavy projectiles do a lot of damage. As previously that mentioned, looked the exact you are able same. to roll, dodge in place, As medium. parry, jump, and boost mm -hmm. jump. These options can be used both offensively and defensively, but I'd like to highlight some more options that lean further into offense. 
When holding the dodge button, you can jump immediately to cancel the shield, letting you immediately use aerial moves. This is a lot faster and more responsive than having to mm. let go of the shield and inputting a jump after. So basically you, you would want to cancel out of it. And attack, similar to doing a normal boost dodge. Most of the forward. time. This allows for an aggressive approach option from afar while also guarding yourself at the cost of meter. Furthermore, dodge jabs. you can do grounded up special and grounded up attack while holding down the dodge button, allowing you to punish opponents for hitting your shield in unique ways. Lastly, you can do side attacks by dropping your shield after blocking and then inputting the side attack. This, however, will not be as fast and seamless as other options. I'd like to now demonstrate how shields can effectively protect you from moves while allowing you to punish them in real time. Keep in mind, shields requires timing and knowing what move your opponent will do. Makes so sense. even if these can be defended against, it's up to players to time and position themselves correctly in fast paced matches while also having the meter to be able to block in the first place. I'm not 100% sure what how what the parries work look like or how they're going to feel. Wait, is he gonna block against armor break moves though? What about armor break moves? Like, what if Wonder Woman just did a nair there? Would it screw you over? I mean that, you can't deny me that looks satisfying just to block a arrow or a Tom and Jerry, or if Jerry getting shot at you. Strike bomb, like that stuff. I, I'm really not liking how much hit's done, it's like, Dude, dude, dude. Like it lags when they know that our feedback has been to make it snappier. It's probably to make it so the casual player can get the hang of it. So that's like slow. Like for the multi hit attacks. And that Taz tornado just looked awful. I like the idea of shields though. I'm open to it. I'm excited to try it. I mean, look at that, Superman. It carries Superman. Yeah, there it is, the Nair up air. But no shielding in the air, which is good. I mean, that's probably obvious. Like that just doesn't look good. I don't this know. This will allow for more counterplay versus these moves while also How slow requiring it is. players to time and space these moves in real time. Some moves like Finn's grounded forward attack are special in the fact that you can fake out an opponent, making them drop shields, allowing them to get hit, while also allowing them to block it if they make their- Like that's the thing that you, they, they're they saying as if the Finn's baiting out the shield is like the only way to counter it. How do you counter the shield when you don't have a Jason? A Superman to grab like uh, the people who actually have a grab. How do you counter that because that is not enough? It's gonna be overpowered as shit unless they add something to the attack and these are more nuanced Interactions that we want to create in our combat with the introduction of active defense that way It isn't a game where players have to be rewarded for always waiting to attack second now Shielding sounds great and it sounds powerful so there has way to be too powerful. Needed. Here are a few ways ah! to, to make shield beatable in are they gonna add something in specifically the mechanic. Introducing a new universal shield breaking mechanic. You can instantly break a shield with this grounded option that every character has access to. Beautiful. Just press dodge and attack at the same time and it will instantly come out. Dodge Depending and attack the at the same time. This mechanic also leads to further punishes to make them rewarding on hit. You can also shield break by holding dodge and then pressing attack. Oh, Depending on the character, some shield breaks will be categorized as low priority moves, meaning they will lose to certain attacks that come out at the same time. Okay. Lastly, you can also use shield break as an option while blocking moves from opponents. If you miss using this move as a punish, you will not be able to act again for a long time, allowing opponents to punish you. With this in mind, here are some cool interactions with this option when defending against or pressuring a shield with grounded side attacks. Side attack will be used as side attack 1-2 into inputting the shield breaking mechanic to break shield if opponents do not let go of shield. Keep in mind this is not entirely so a true block string, and because some of these shield breaking moves have low priority tied to them, 
you will be able to drop shield and beat out those shield finishers if you predict them and in some cases even roll away before getting hit by the shield breaker. You can also do side attack one into the shield break mechanic for a mix up on someone's shield as well. Side attack one on shield without pressing. So you can let, if you, if you dodge into someone and then they shield right then, you could do the first jab, but then if you're quicker, quick in, quick in the head, quick on your feet, then you could instantly transition into the shield break because they're more than likely going to hold it. Like this mechanic is adding so much depth to multiverses. Like you, now you have to parry by holding down and dodge around the same time. Now the dodge attack where you dodge and attack at the same time as a shield break. There's just a lot more mechanics being added. It's going to be a huge learning curve if they decide to add this in the game. But hopefully we give our feedback. Other options and they might, might change it. So if an opponent wants to poke your shield with side attack one and walk away, no or they could react that way this too. This makes it so that really powerful boost jab forwards are actually punishable. Looking at you, Shaggy. Another way to beat shields is by having command grabs. Certain characters in multiverses have grabs that can be used in the air or on the ground. Use yep, I'm actually gonna be on a shield will flying into them. Destroy the shield, giving more value to characters who have these unique. What moves, about armor like break? Jason, Jake, and Agent Smith, just to name a few. Armor breaking moves continue to break armor like Wonder Woman and Jason's, for example. Ah! These are moves that have purple visual effects does that indicate not that the move break has shield. When using these moves on shields, they don't break shields, but have less hit pause on shields, making them more safe than normal moves when they hit shields. Some characters have more of these moves than ah, others, okay. and some have these effects on very strong moves. With that in mind, please let us know what you think as we have ideas of how to regulate and balance this in relation to shield damage. <clears throat> and okay. lastly, the next way to beat shield is shield loses meter. So as mentioned earlier, shields also lose meter from being held for long periods of time and lose meter when actively blocking attacks. This makes it so that players can't hold shield indefinitely and risk losing all of their meter entering a burned out state where they are much worse off <laughs> this dramatically increases Jesus. the value of not being burned out since you will not be able to shield without meter okay then. Yeah, this that's is good. now a total of four different ways to counter shield to ensure it won't be oppressive and allow so you got the shield break you got your grab still i guess you can shield the shield and you might see options to go in with a, a dodge down tilt or like whoever has the armor break moves because they might shield it but even if they do you hit it and are able to move a lot quicker so you could react to their to them thinking you're going to be in hit stun i don't know how i feel about the hit stun after you hit normal moves it just feels slow and sluggish intuitive healthy combat so in conclusion thank you so much for watching i hope this was not only helpful but also shows the potential for our combat system with these forms of defense and offensive possibilities made real with the inclusion of shielding. Being able to block is important not only to allow certain character archetypes to thrive and remain unique without feeling oppressive, but allows for other aspects of combat to potentially be made faster for players. We want players to feel rewarded for aggression and not feel as though the best way to play is to be the player attacking second. The presence of active defense allows this to become a reality as shields allow for players to want to be more aggressive with a feeling of security and a reward for proper timing when trying to avoid with attacks without outright neutralizing these same attacks due to having to react and read what moves the opponent will use, how they will use them, and when they will use them. It so basically, because right now, if Shaggy does a kick, a rage sidekick, all my option is is to dodge through it or run away and then I try to go in to punish and he can just dodge out of it again. So I have to like be very patient and wait, but if there's a shield and he hits it, I can either dodge depending on where he hits me. I can do the move the right or left joystick and can move and then that counts as a do uh, dodge basically. So I can dodge jab with the shield and instantly punish. That's the benefit of shields. He's really going in depth saying like, hey guys, shields aren't bad. Guys, I know you guys are gonna hate on shields, but please, you gotta try it. And I'm all, I'm all for it. It has not only been very rewarding and enjoyable to play our games internally with shields, but I believe we were able to create something unique to multiverses with our take on some of the directions with shields functionality and how it can be beaten. 
with the introduction of this mechanic it hypothetically allows again for certain aspects of our combat to become much faster and much swifter in the future it could. as we can then begin to tune around the introduction of shielding to the game this mechanic so is still in its experimental phase so there will likely be perk interactions that aren't reflective of how they would look with the mechanic finalized this mechanic will be available in the testing grounds queue for all of you to play on October 24th. That's sick. Please Tomorrow, let us know what you guys. Think and any suggestions you may have. It's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited to have been able to help with this mechanic, and the team has put in a lot of time to actually implement this and make it a reality. Please be sure to tag me and other PFG We're gonna get shields. on social media, and I look forward to watching your streams and YouTube content covering this mechanic. This is Nakat, your community manager over at Player First Games. And again, it was an honor to help the team with Shield. Please take it easy. Great day. You have a great day, too. All right, so there it is. Nakat posted more gameplay as well, showing off, you know, just the mechanics. But I don't think he's only showing off, you know, the shielding. As you can tell, if you just pay close attention to how fast they're moving like if you're not paying attention to it it might not seem different but it almost feels like the game is sped up by like 20.2 times and as you see there as well he uses his shield right here and i guess it's low enough to where he hit it and it actually broke that's a that broke a lot of uh meter right there if at least it looked like instantly breaks i don't know why i send them upward i guess that's just the mechanic sends them upward it's just confirming that if you break the shield but look how fat like see how they're hopping they got the short hops and the fast fall like it just looks like they're hopping everywhere See, they're, they're like just small jumps, small jumps. They're experiencing it. This is exactly the video they were making when they were tweeting all the stuff. Like, hey, it's so fast or I can't stop playing. This is what they mean. But is, is season four going to have the shield? There's, I feel like they were, would need more testing with it, but I don't know what their plans are. Anyway, you can just tell how fast the game is. Looks like more control and movement. Ultimately, we are going to get shield, whether we like it or not, eventually, sooner. I imagine we would get it like season five, officially, maybe. Maybe not, maybe it'll take longer, but it looks pretty complete to me. There's a few changes that I, the only change that I see is just how long the hit stun is. With certain moves, the hit stun, it just feels like it's a slow-mo picture reel. That's the only feedback I have. I don't. But I haven't played it. I haven't played it, so it's hard to say how that will feel. We see all this footage crafted in a video for the purpose of a tutorial. So it's going to be feeling a lot and looking a lot different as you're playing it and using the shield. It's going to look sloppy. It's going to look messy when people, when people use it for the first time. But it's going to have a flow eventually. I know in the beginning of the beta and stuff, people would want shields. But I think shields would make this game better. And you can't tell me that it wouldn't be so satisfying to block your opponent's projectiles like shooting Jerry, Rick's freaking lasers, gizmo arrows, stripe bomb, like stuff like that with your shield. It would be so satisfy satisfying. Even a shaggy kick would be really good to block and then punish instantly. And I was a little scared until they mentioned the shield breaks because you have to have a counter to it because if you don't have the, the grabs, then it's just going to be busted and people are going to be spamming that. Um, also, another thing I'm concerned about is how long you can hold the shield. I would have to see the balance of how long you can hold the shield. Like if you're holding it and blocking projectiles, I mean, you're going to lose dodge meter over time. I just, I don't know, it seems like a long time. Like look how long Jason was holding it there and he wasn't even in half. But with the addition of the shield break, that is the only way this mechanic is even feasible in the game. My initial thoughts of this being added to multiverses are probably like a six to seven out of 10 of being in favor of adding shields. I wasn't before, but I think I am now. I'm wondering the balance between how often I would use like my up tilts 
and stuff like that over shield which i think there will be some cases anyway I'm, i can be yapping on it for a while but ultimately i think it's a good direction like they said it's ex experimental and we'll get to play this tomorrow uh uh they go downtime 9 a.m i assume it'll be up around 10 a.m pacific time them announcing the experimental mode was the next biggest thing the uh, mid-season patch which i'm all here for crazy let me know what you guys think down below and uh, with that i say good night and goodbye goodbye crazy goodbye crazy love you crazy goodbye <laughs>